What is happening, all you beautiful people out there in the world? Today we have Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous set of eight awesome looking toys released by McDonald's back in 2020. Let's get them opened up and have a closer look. So it looks like how this breaks down is the first four, one through four, are like these little books. So we're going to open this and see what's inside these. And then the other four are these little egg mystery dinosaur eggs, which look quite interesting. So anyway, let's go ahead and rip open number one here and find out what's going on here. So it looks like we have, okay, so we have some punch out decorative horns. Let's see, wear your own dino horns. So you can punch them out and then it shows you right there a little diagram where you can wrap these around your ears. Okay, so punch out, hook around your ears and wear your own pair of horns. And then you can flip them over on the back. So they, they basically just like little dress up things. All right, so what's inside this booklet thing? So what do we got here? This looks interesting, so let's open this up. This year, meal reader belongs to, oh, this Happy Meal, uh, I can't read. So you put your name there, Horned Dinosaurs, bunch of people there. So it's like a an information book. You might think that dinosaurs who had horns used them for fighting or defending against other dinosaurs who were predators. However, scientists believe that the horns on these dinosaurs were just for looks and to attract mates, Kind of like how a peacock uses feathers. Who knew there were dinosaurs that just wanted to show off? <laughs> okay. And so it's like an information guide in all the different dinosaurs. Big to small. It shows you the size comparisons. And let's keep flipping here. Any stickers, anything cool? So it's just an information guide on the various dinosaurs. Triceratops, T-Rexes. What is this one? The Triceratops three-horned face. So it's just a virtual breakdown. Look at a little... Uh, little uh, puzzle, not a puzzle, what, what is the con connected dots is what I'm looking for. Connected dots, triceratops dots. Okay. As I'm fumbling with my words. This is interesting. So if you're into dinosaurs, you're going to like these. Campfire stories. Fill in the blanks to complete your own dinosaur story. Okay. So at blank years ago, the Sinoceratops named blank. Okay. So it's like a little quiz. Okay, don't forget to share your story with friends and family. Draw a scene. Okay, so these are like little activity books. It's awesome. Here's number two, Armored Dinosaurs. So again, the first one was Horned Dinosaurs. This one's Armored Dinosaurs. And here is a little, well, so what is this? It's a little finger puppet. So it is Build Your Own Armored Dino. It's like a little turtle. Let's turn it sideways here. What is that? Oh, yeah, it's like a little tiny dinosaur. Kind of. Kind of looks like a turtle. And then it shows right there, it's like a little finger puppet. It goes on your finger. Interesting. Okay, and there's the underside. Well, that's kind of cool. I actually like that. <laughs> it's kind of neat. You don't see that very often. And so let's flip through this real quick. Open this up. That's where you put your name. Looks familiar here. So these are the armored ones. So it shows you all the various dinosaurs and whatnot that have like armor. Look at, look at spikes and different things. This is pretty impressive. Crossword puzzles. I like crossword puzzles. They're, they're fun. And oh, there's the answer right next to it. So you can cheat right away. Just flip the page and cheat. Is that it? What's the read on the back here? And it looks like uh, reading is fundamental. McDonald's is a proud supporter. Okay, so just a bunch of advertisements and stuff. So just another little activity book, little information booklet about armored dinosaurs. Sweet. Number three is the big dinosaur book, and it didn't come with a little punch out thingy. It's just a book in this one. I thought they would all come with a little wearable little thingy or something put on your, your ears or your finger or something, but I don't know. All right, so let's see, big reptiles. So this is gonna show off all the ginormous, humongous dinosaurs out there. This is interesting. Oh, there's something coming up here. What do we got coming here? Size charts and stuff, huge dinosaurs. Big dinosaurs are awesome. And I love the Jurassic Park and Jurassic World movies. Love all this stuff. Dinosaurs are awesome. And let's see, what do we got here? So that's like a size comparison to a an airplane, small jet. Look at that. Man, these things were huge. And we got something right here. Look at this. It's like a little, little 3D pop-out. Look at this. Okay, so a pop-up. What does that read? Apatosaurus. Apatosaurus. I think I'm pronouncing that right. So it kind of just pops out there. That's kind of cool. I like that. Little pop-up books and just some more information. And this is ginormous, so look at the size of that. 
it's like a alligator what is it called a mosasaurus was about as long as a semi trailer holy cow imagine going swimming and seeing that Ooh -wee. and yep yeah, there's more cool information and we got a little maze at the back of the, the book we got a little maze thingy that's kind of cool so there you go it's the big dinosaurs book and number four is ferocious dinosaurs and this one did come with a little pop-out sheet so let me show you that so you got like is that a t-rex i believe that's a t-rex camp crustaceous what does it read on there oh here we go flip it over build a t-rex there we go build a t-rex and it looks like basically you just pop it out and push the legs on and very simple stuff so you would just pop this out right here place it on the legs right there and it's just a little cardboard little standy and we're not gonna mess with it there's no point in messing with it but that's kind of cool i like this stuff this stuff is like I, I love all these little things like this especially reading i like reading and so we open this up we've seen that most ferocious and that's what it is ferocious dinosaurs so this one's about all the mean ones that run around and eat all the other dinosaurs <laughs> size is big to small so it is a size comparison there so there's you a little white outline there so it says we're four feet tall so i guess we're you know i i don't know what the average height would have been back when the dinosaurs were roaming maybe we were four, four feet tall i don't know that's a good question i would think we would be taller than that but i you know who knows it all depends on what you is it all depends on what you think i guess and let's see so tyrannosaurus rex and look at follow the dino track so it's like a maze puzzle that's cool i like maze puzzles i like all this kind of stuff it's very interesting to me anytime you can stay busy and use your mind and use your brain and think and read and learn information and learn about you know anything like this it's always information is always good the more you know the better life will be education is important and even if it's about dinosaurs like it makes for great conversations and let's see anything else look at this okay so we got you were right on its fins so what is this this is uh feed the bar baronix baronix <laughs> this is another little activity thing very cool stuff so there you go it's the ferocious dinosaurs book number five is the tyrannosaurus rex egg so i haven't opened it so let's pop this open and what did we get let's see oh so it comes in a little baggie here let's see do we have to open this up here and we pull out a little tiny t-rex look at this little cutie patootie what does it do oh look at this a little spring-loaded tail that's cool <laughs> so it's a little mini little miniature little t-rex action figure it's all plastic you can see this kind of hollow right there so one foot's hollow that's weird so one foot's hollow one's solid that's pretty weird let's see so it's the spring loaded little mouth he gets his little chopper there and that's the gimmick cute little t-rex figurine awesome so number six we have bumpy the ankylosaurus i figured i'd show you that one because that one's a bit of a toughie bumpy the ankylosaurus and let's open this egg up come on there we go oh that was kind of tight and let's see what this guy looks like okay open this up i like these little mini figurines these are kind of cool and let's see what's going on here look at this little cutie patootie <laughs> this is great a little button on the back here so he just wiggles look at that he wiggles his little head and his little tail too look at that <laughs> that's so adorable look at it. so more hollow feet most three hollow feet and then one covered foot that's weird to me <laughs> i don't know oh this is so cool so there you go it's the it's bumpy the ankylosaurus i hope i hope i'm pronouncing that right so number seven is toro the carnotaurus i believe i'm pronouncing that right as well toro the carnotaurus number seven okay let's get it opened up and see what we got going on inside here kind of got a t-rex vibe going on here let's see look at this okay so he's got like the two little horns he's a little bit darker let's grab the t-rex do a little side-by-side -side comparison so the t-rex is definitely definitely a little bit bigger you can see right there got them next to each other wow that's kind of cool and what does this guy do probably the same thing yep look at that so he wiggle a little spring-loaded tail his little mouth bounces open and closed <laughs> and his little, his little head's bobbing too look at this and again a hollow foot and a solid foot i don't understand i don't get that but okay very cute all right there you go it's the toro the carnotaurus 
Toro the Carnotaur. The last step number eight is the Triceratops, which I believe most people are familiar with the Triceratops. And let's get him out of his little baggie here. Come on there, little fella. There we go. And another little awesome, cute little figurine. Let's see, wiggle his tail. Yep, so they all have the, the same gimmick. A little spring-loaded push tail action. That's the gimmick. That's what they do. Very simple, but yet adorable. <laughs> I don't mind it. Because I love dinosaurs. Dinosaurs are so awesome. I'm just I'm glad most of them are they are not alive they're not alive today. Could you just imagine T Rexes running around your neighborhood? Like like you know how, how scary would that be? Alright, so it's it's a triceratops and that's it. So there you go. And there you have it everyone. Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous and eight cool little toys released by McDonald's back in 2020. I love this set because I'm a huge, huge fan of dinosaurs. I absolutely love the books. I think I like the books more than I actually do the little mini figurines, even though they're awesome too. But I just love reading about that stuff. And then there's little activities and stuff in there. This is a complete win. If you're into dinosaurs and stuff, especially if you're a fan of the Jurassic World, Jurassic Park series, you'll want to definitely add this to your collection. You'll be glad you did. Thanks for watching everybody. Take care. See you next time.